Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network. I'm Scott Patton, your co-host. Joining us, as usual, is Martin Patella, health coach at Life Enthusiast. And we're here restoring vitality to you and the planet. Hey, Martin, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm, uh, I'm ready to record our next session, which today is about a seven-part series of documentary movie making that's heading our way. Cool. One of the things that we've been talking a lot about is the all these different chronic illnesses, whether it's fibromyalgia or lupus, or they all have one kind of common cause. And of course, what happens in our medical system is they try to deal with this symptom versus that symptom. Oh, it's a pain here. It's fibromyalgia. Oh, it's a pain down here. It's something else. As opposed to it's a pain. And, the, you know, our pains probably all come from one or two yeah. unique ca- or base causes. Yeah. The, ba- the best analogy I think we could use is the cancer, right? Like you can, you can have cancer in the brain, cancer in the colon, uterus, breast, whatever. All different body parts. And they are saying, well, these are 20 different or 50 different types of cancer. And they're right. And they're, they're, they're talking about it like it's genetic. You know, if gene this is weak, then you're going to get uh, the cancer in the breast. But if that other gene is weak, you're going to get it in the colon and whatnot. But anyway, so the picture is cancer is one disease. And it's really not cancer as a disease, but it's the cancer ring. Your body is actually doing the cancer ring, and it's doing the cancer ring in different places where it blows up. It's the same way as I'm breathing, or the same way as I'm, and here comes this other one, this inflammation. Like, I'm inflaming, I could have a migraine headache, or I could have a low back pain, or I could have a um, thyroid problem, or... Anyway, many body parts, you mentioned it. And the medical system likes to classify because they like to diagnose. And they, they make, make it sound like it's all different. But in fact, it all is one thing, which is histamine-mediated, chronic, inflammatory, autoimmune disease. And it shows up in different parts of the body looking different. But it, Very. but it all comes from the same cause. And that's what we've been preaching for the last 12 years, saying to people, but what can you do about it? They'll give you a drug, a painkiller, an anti-inflammatory to block the immune system from doing what it wants to do. And we're saying, but that's not how you fix it. You need to go after the cause, not symptom, the cause of the symptom. My favorite analogy, Martin, is one you used, I think, a decade ago. And it's like your car runs out of oil. The light that says there's a problem with the engine shows up. You take your gum out of your mouth. You stick it over the, over the light so you can't see it. And you continue to run your car. And you wonder, it's not running very smoothly. It's a little bit rough. And then all of a sudden, it stops. And you have no idea why. Mm, yeah. And the other metaphor that I like to draw on is the one about the there's smoke coming in my bedroom, doctor. And when you go to a doctor to consult about that, he'll say, well, I have two solutions. One's fan and the other one's filter. So we can install a filter in your window and we can also install a fan to blow it back out. Not once asking, where's the smoke coming from? What if your porch were on fire? What if it were going to spread in the rest of the house? And that's exactly how they're doing it. They compartmentalize things. They isolate them. Because the premise of the symptom-oriented medicine is that they want a silver bullet, and they actually have that in their books. They're seeking a silver bullet that solves the problem which is totally workable for something like a broken bone or an infectious disease. Like if you have tuberculosis, 
that is caused by the bacillus tuberculinum, I forget the exact name of it. And you deal with that, and you've dealt with the problem. It's easy to fix gonorrhea. Oh. But it's not easy to fix a chronic inflammatory autoimmune disease. And the only system of medicine that can handle it is called functional medicine. This is where we're dealing with the cause of the problem as opposed to the effect of the problem. That's right. And, you know, we we feel obliged, I feel obliged to, you know, every once in a while jump in and say, you know, the medical system is set up for emergencies. And if you're in an emergency situation, it can do wonders. And that's what happened with me when my liver stopped and my pancreas got inflamed and I was, I was like on death's door. They've pulled me back and like, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, but the part of the story that we never talk about is the fact that I had gone two weeks before my emergency into the into the hospital to see my doctor first, who sent me to the hospital. The hospital hydrated me, sent me to a specialist. The specialist looked at the results of my blood tests and said, come back in a month. Well, two weeks later, I am almost dead. And so... Yeah. It wasn't bad enough two weeks before for them to do anything. And I have, a, I have a friend who was on death's door too. And of course, when she was almost dead, she went to the front of the line. They looked after her. She got the best care, everything else. They didn't quite fix everything, but she was no longer dying. So she was okay to go home. So she went home. Now, well, I still have this problem but I'm not dying. Okay, well, you're on a six-month wait list. Or, you know, like what it was was they weren't interested in seeing her. There were main, many, many, many more emergencies that needed to be looked after before they would get to her non-emergency situation. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's kind of this, it's a little bit of a catch-22, right? If you want the medical system to really work and help you, you have to be pretty much on death's door. If you're not on death's door, then it's kind of, well, come back in a couple of weeks or come back when you are, and then we'll deal with it. And so people who have fibromyalgia or some of these other chronic diseases, you're not dying. So, you know, you're really not a high priority. And so you end up suffering for a long period of time. Right. But yet, this is a hundred billion dollar business for the drug companies, and they love it because you're not going to die. Nobody's going to die of these inflammatory conditions, but is going to live a fairly painful, miserable, difficult life and be in great need of many medications, none of which are effective. And I don't really want to go through the list, but it's the advertisements that you see on television now talking to you about pregabalamin lyrica. And, and you see... Maybe you should try Lyrica, or maybe maybe you should try Humira. That's the other one for re re rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, then they tell you, maybe you should try this. And then they go into this soft voice of telling you, well, there is suicide, there is pain, there is weight gain, there is a tumor, there is cancer, there is heart attack. You may have all of that as an effect of taking this drug, and they say it in a soft voice while they're showing you on-screen images of uh, ladies dancing uh, on a meadow. And then they finally say, uh, maybe it's right for you. Talk to your doctor. Okay, so we sort of talked about the depressing part of all of this. Now we, ha we have this documentary that came out. Uh, is it going to show us something we can do differently? I surely hope so. They have interviewed 75 experts and patients in the field, each of which has either watched or facilitated or experienced the reversal, both of which I have done, you have done, and been telling. So here's our opportunity to, if you don't believe me, to hear it from 75 more guys with multiple degrees and on a high-res screen see it and and it's available to you for free seven episodes or seven series of documentaries put together so um betrayal uh, uh, yes the 
The medical system has betrayed us. Beautiful. They have. They have completely betrayed their, um, hip, what's it called? Hippocratic oath? Something like that, yes. Do no harm. Yeah. Well, it's longer than that. But, yes. Cool. So, it's available. We're going to have a link for people to go. It's uh, this is being recorded on September 9th and September, t so Friday. So on Monday, September 12th, it will be available. It goes live when you can get in. Right now, if you're watching this before the 12th, just click below and put your name in. They will send you an invitation to watch it. Uh, if you're watching it at or after the 12th, click on it anyway, sign in, join in, watch it. And if you miss it, it will still be available with the uh, pay for service right so some of the people let's talk about some of the people that are are in this movie uh the first one is tom o'brien he's the host and he's a speaker and author workshop leader and he made his name i believe with gluten yes oh yeah he made a huge uh, wave with the gluten sensitivity program absolutely uh, yeah tom's a great speaker great uh, great doctor understands stuff really well Cool. And another one that's in it that uh, I've seen around a lot is Mark Hyman. Yes. Yeah, he's uh, very big in functional medicine. He talks to the president and the government and puts out books. And uh, he's the um, um, director of the Cleveland Clinic Center for Functional Medicine. Yeah, he's, he's a great guy, good thinker. And he's, he's very presentable, speaks well. He's got PBS shows and stuff like that. Oh, cool. Uh, one I have to mention is Jeffrey Bland, PhD. He's known as the godfather of functional medicine. Oh, yeah, totally. He's an awesome guy. And then there are many others that I know well because I read their letters and uh, or agree with what they are saying. Diana Minich is one of them. Datis Karrazian is another. Sarah Gottfried, uh, the, the lady that really stands out for me. Oh, yes, yeah, Sarah is wonderful. Yeah, she is. But Sarah Ballantyne, the paleo mom, I have her fat book on my coffee table. It's hard slog, difficult reading because it's quite sciencey and nerdy. But boy, does she ever explain it well. I, and we have to, I have to mention this person. I've never heard of him, and I'll probably say his name wrong. It's Datis Karazian. Yeah, Datis Karazian. And he, he has a DH Science, DC, MS, M neurosci F A A C. It just goes on and on and on. All the letters of designations that he's got. He's an expert in non-pharmaceutical applications to chronic illnesses, autoimmune, and complex neurological orders. Yeah, the so Tis has put out a couple of books, uh, mostly about thyroid and adrenals, and he's an expert in the endocrine system and has helped people out of terrible trouble. One documentary that's really causing a lot of waves, or did you know, started starting a few months ago, is called Vax, and and there's a person on here. I was I was kind of interested if they'd ever go there, but she is uh, Louisa, and she's a, a medical doctor, and she's an expert in vaccines, adjective events, and autoimmunity. So it'll be interesting to hear what she has to say about the connection between some of these issues and the stuff that we're poking into our skin. Into the circulatory system, yes. Yeah, so this thing is going to be loaded. Like, you have 75 people in it in seven parts, so there will be approximately 10 people per part. And, of course, they will, I'm sure, make the extended content available. So the, uh, the movies probably will be just the highlights of it, and if you really want to dive down and dive in, you'll be needing to buy it. But even with just the free stuff, I am certain it's going to be worth your time to watch, show it to your relatives. I mean, the stuff we hear from people all the time is, they don't believe me, I'm in pain. They don't believe that this is real. They think it's all in my head. Um, this is going to be the science telling you and the world Oh, yeah, it's not in your head. It's all happening now. Yeah. And some we had mentioned that some of the people in the uh, documentary were 
not physicians, not experts. They were actually people that had suffered and, and got through on the other side. And to give you an example, Mary Capone is a celiac patient. She's founder of uh, Bella Gluten-Free, wrote the cookbook on it. And, um, you know, she talks about gourmet gluten-free uh, dinners and that sort of stuff. So obviously somebody who had a real problem and uh, and was able to get through onto the other side. So one of the things that I like about this documentary is the fact that it's also a lot about hope. It's not, well, here's sort of our theory as to why vitamin C works better than some drug. It's this is, I had this problem and now I don't. And I think that's a message that really needs to uh, be, get out into the different uh, chronic illness communities because we really think that there's fundamental issues, and some you can do something about and some you can't. It's hard to do something about the air you breathe, and, and sometimes hard to do something about the water that you drink. But uh, you really can do some things that are going to be able to help you. Mm. And here's a really interesting point. James Maskell is one of the speakers there, and uh, he is uh, the founder of Evolution of Medicine, and he has figured out how we can all get off of the mainstream medical nonsense it's through health insurance by saying goodbye to the wrong health insurance model and saying hello welcome to the new insurance model you can be covered for treatment by all of these um, functional medicine doctors so instead of doing the stupid stuff you can do the right stuff um, I can't imagine a better world. No, that's right. Cool. So it's called Betrayal. We're going to have the link either below or across here so that you can see it, uh, depending on uh, where you see this on Facebook or on our YouTube channel or on our website. And uh, we really strongly recommend that you take the time to go through this stuff, and it's going to change your life. Yep, I promise. I mean, I've done this stuff. I live it. I'm an, an example of it. I try to tell pretty much the same thing that these people are going to be telling you. So this is not new. I've done it. And um, the solutions that we offer are going to fit with whatever these people are going to be telling you. So if, if you are wondering about supplementations or whatever, I'm simply expecting fully that this is just going to be a confirmation of what Scott and I have been telling the world for the last 15 years on our uh, videos and podcasts and, uh, and on the website. Great. Thanks, Martin. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We appreciate having you. This has been the Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.